Okay, in this video I want to talk about the fundamental theorem for line integrals. And all it says is, it says, um, if you have a smooth curve C given by the vector function R of T, where T is between A and B, it says, let little f be a differentiable function of two or three variables whose gradient vector is continuous. Remember, little f is going to be basically a potential function for the, for the uh, excuse me, for the conservative vector field. It says to evaluate the line integral, all it, does, all it says is, is you plug the endpoints into the potential function. So let's do a quick example here. Suppose we want to evaluate this line integral uh, 2x plus yz dx plus xz dy plus yx dz. C is going to be the straight line segment from the origin to the point 1, 2, comma, negative 1. Okay, so the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to find a potential for the vector field um, 2x plus yz, comma, xz comma yx and then we're simply going to use that we're just, we're just going to plug in the endpoints into that potential function and we'll be done okay so this is going to be sort of our r of a we can think about it that way and this will be our point um, r of b again really it's a vector pointing at those points um, we have found a, vec a potential function um, we found a potential little f for this vector field in a different video and we found that little f um, was the function x squared plus xyz plus c and you can actually use any uh, any potential function so let's just set the constant equal to zero and that'll make computations a little bit easier it says now simply to evaluate this line integral, all we have to do is, well, we know our potential function, which is this. And I'll, I'll definitely, there should be a link somewhere in this video for finding this potential function, which can be certainly a little confusing and a little tedious for sure. So if you haven't seen this yet, um, might be a little confusing the first time you see it. But <clears throat> it says to evaluate this line integral, all we do is we take our potential function, we plug in the, the point that we stop at, which is 1, 2, negative 1, and we subtract away the point that we started at, which was the origin, 0, 0, 0, and all we do is plug it in. So if we replace x with 1, we'll get 1 squared plus 1 times 2 times negative 1, so that's our f of our endpoint minus f of the origin, well we would get 0 squared plus a bunch of zeros. And if we evaluate this, we get 1 squared, which is 1. 1 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so we'll get 1 minus 2, or negative 1, which is the value we found by actually finding a parametrization and um, using the definition and using a rather, uh, I think, a longer, more complicated process. And the reason why I think finding this potential is a much better way, you know, suppose we had a couple different points we had to evaluate. You would have to find lots of parametrizations in that case, whereas here all you need to know is a potential function, and again, you're just plugging in the endpoints, so it makes life a lot easier. So I'll definitely provide some links to those other topics that I mentioned in here that you need, especially finding the potential. Um, without the potential, things are, you know, obviously pretty tricky. Um, but, but that's it. It says to evaluate a line integral, find a potential, plug in the endpoints, voila, you're done. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, please feel free to post them.